All right, time to crack these guys open. I haven't actually done them yet, so it will be my first time and I will get to see how hard they are. It seems like it's a pretty easy thing. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, the reason why you might want to crack these open is to salvage the cells or to reclaim the cells, right? Harvest the cells. That's what uh, it's commonly known. So basically you take the cells out then you test them, then you build them into different packs uh, in many different ways, including, but not limited to my little PCB system here that I have, right? So these are very popular online right now. So I'm gonna show you how to break them apart. All right, let's do this. Let's start with this one. They come with this uh, half shell over here because these go on the stem of a scooter, right? And so it's got different little holes here that are filled with like goo-like thing. Here we go. You can see those holes there. See them? They're filled. So you just use the screwdriver, stick it through there, and then all that goo falls off. Then you're able to expose the... Uh, the screw much like that right so take those screws off and then just like that this pops right off oh yeah okay so the top stuff part of the uh, BMS stays in there attached to the top and because we can't use that because they're the cables are cut off and stuff then uh, that's okay here is the bottom side of the BMS and we'll have to cut that too all right so now that you have that you have exposed the back side and it's got screw holes which is pretty cool because in theory you should be able to screw these on another board you know and put a bunch of them like this and then you have access to each one of these um, battery terminals right to install a an outside BMS and stuff but that's gonna be for another video for now I'm just gonna show you how to take these apart so the next step would be to cut these off. By the way, if anybody's got those little, a lead on those little connectors, that would be pretty awesome because then you could just connect stuff in there and then you have access to all the, the leads. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without making too many sparks. Let's start with the bottom here. The bottom is a good idea to start with because as soon as you disconnect this, then basically you cut the pack in half. So now there's not, you know, 40 volts, potentially 42 volts in here. Now it's half of that. So there we go. It's just cut in half. Okay, so there we go. So we disconnected that. So now let's cut these guys off. Oh, I guess here's probably the easiest way is to actually lift it. So yeah, the next one, you do the same thing, you grab it. There we go, and then you remove this whole thing right there. Yeah, so there you go, that's the connector for all the balancing leads. Nice, let's do the other side now. Right, so here's the other one. Now the top of this guy should be able to come out. Clip, clip, clip. And there we go. There's the bottom portion of the little BMS, right? Seems like there's something holding the whole stack here. Let's see, hopefully is just a regular Phillips. 
that right, it looks like it's actually from the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wait a minute, what? Oh. It's a rod. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Just like that. It's just a rod. And then these guys just come out. Look at that. They're individual little little pieces. These two are parallel. These are two parallel, right? All right. So part two is now disassembling these guys. Then you remove the little casing here. Okay, so now what happens is that you end up with these little prickly little things those are pretty sharp they will make you bleed if you touch them like this accidentally they will puncture you and so it's a big pain so what you do is you just cut them off as much as you can with your pliers here All right there we go now they're safe to grab like that and that's uh, that's the first cell Alright, so there we go. We have turned one of those and completely taken it apart and disassembled it and that is what you end up with. Here is the cool thing about these cells. They don't have any glue. Look at that. No glue, right? They come out and they're pretty, pretty clean, right? And so uh, for those of you that are watching this and you don't know why you would want to do this, the reason is because this is the only way that you can get pretty decent quality cells like these LG N26s for very, for this kind of price, right? Uh, to give you an example, uh, if you wanted to buy these are new, then you're gonna pay like two, two and a half dollars each cell, right? Uh, if like the ones that I have on my website right now that are brand new, they're better cells than this, they have more capacity but they'll set you back about $3 each, right? So the reason why you would wanna do this, this kind of work here, is because then you end up with a cell that it sometimes is, you know, about a dollar or sometimes a sub $1, right, per cell. And so that is the reason why you would wanna do that. So the next step, now after you have all this, now you can, Throw them in a charger, one of those charger meters that uh, test the capacity of those cells. So let's do that now. All right, so here we go. These are sand flare chargers uh, and you have to put them on a thing that is called norm test, which is normal test. And what it will do, it'll discharge it and it'll charge it and then it'll discharge it again and then it'll record the capacity right uh yeah so once it does that then it'll 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 mark it here what the capacity is let's take a look at uh what these are coming out to all right here's a box of fully tested ones let's look at what they're coming out here we go that one is 2702 uh milliamp hours here's another 2760 2775. This one's a little bit beat up. 2792. Look at that. 2729. 
27 okay so you get the idea they're coming out at around 2700 milliamp hours there you go so that's what you can expect out of these cells when you harvest them this way so there you go i'm going to include links to where you can buy all these uh, in the description of this video uh below uh go get them if you need some cells this is a great way to harvest good quality cells uh for not much money and with not much work right so there you go uh future video i'll show you how to connect them together so that you don't have to take them apart right because that's also possible you don't have to break them down to the cell level but for a lot of you guys whatever the projects you guys are doing it requires you to have cells because then you're gonna assemble them in different ways right so anyways thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys in the next one bye oh yeah don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't just go ahead and subscribe come on man come on help a brother out all right see you in the next video bye Thank you.